I'm going to give you the answer to this can you troubleshoot challenge. The answer is a bad gyro. The gyro on my copter was failing. Now I posted this as a can you troubleshoot because the second I saw it, I thought it looked exactly like this video from my friend. Uh, this is his uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and here is his video of his gyro failing on, I think it's a Naze 32 Rev 6. Watch his video. Now his was worse than mine. He got a full on all out failure. Whereas mine, I didn't go all the way to dead. But if you watch, to me, those those that kind of violent twitching looked just identical, and I immediately thought that's a bad gyro. And I went to the black box, and uh, and I confirmed that it was. And I have actually have a video about that coming up. I have several videos coming up about my troubleshooting the vibrations on my copter. It's um, it's funny because I've been troubleshooting vibrations. I had a bad motor bell, and then I had a broken standoff, and then. It turns out I also had a bad gyro, uh, one after the other after the other. So uh, vibrations galore are coming up on the channel, discussions about them. But um, let's go through some of the answers and see, you know, because uh, I think one of the best things about these can you troubleshoot videos is what what suggested answers I get. And many of the answers are, you know, are, could be right, just didn't turn out to be right this time. So let's take a look at some of these. <laughs> the ground was too high. That's always the problem, isn't it? One of your ESCs has damped light on and the others don't. That is a really fascinating guess. Uh, I am curious what would happen if that did happen. Like, would the PID loop be able to compensate for the lack of damped light in the other ESCs? I don't know, but that, that didn't turn out to be what it is. Uh, a broken prop. You know what? These days, especially with Betaflight, a broken prop actually doesn't make the copter f crash. <laughs> I've I've seen copters fly back with a two blade prop and literally one blade or rather a three blade prop and literally one blade is completely missing and it's it's really sort of buzzy but it's not wah, 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 vibrating like that so no something having to do with the pid tuning is my guess uh, you would have to be pretty crazy out of line to to cause this with your pids but if you were to ask what PID related thing could cause this, it would be excess D gain. D gain amplifies noise, as we know. If you don't know that, you'll hear me say it a lot. D gain amplifies noise. And what can happen with excess D gain is you can get twitches in, in the copter's movement. You'll be flying along and suddenly twitch, it twitches to the left, twitch, it twitches to the right. And there are spikes in the noise that are putting the D term sort of over the edge. Uh, and, and making it make the PID sum and the motors sort of flip out. In a very extreme case, the copter can sort of just flip over suddenly and go into the ground. This kind of back and forth twitching that we're seeing here is, uh, I don't think that's consistent with a tuning related issue. Now, you, uh, obviously excess P gain causes back and forth, but excess P gain causes a kind of a back and forth oscillation that has a consistent frequency, okay? Whereas excess D gain or a bad gyro or excess gyro noise will cause more of a random or semi-random twitching. Now, in this case, what we saw happening was a bad gyro reading would come through the gyro would go, ah, the copter's rolling to the left. No, it isn't. And in that tiny second when the gyro was giving a bad reading, the, the motors tried to compensate for what was happening. And then when things went back to normal, the motors stopped trying to compensate. And that's why these sort of twitches happen rather than a sort of a back and forth bop, 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 oscillation like with a, with a P-term. So as you look at this, this in this case was a bad gyro, and it looked exactly like with the other bad gyro I've seen. But if you were to try and troubleshoot this with a tuning-related issue, the closest thing I could see getting to this would be excess degain or really excessive noise, but 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 probably you'd have to it'd be crazy high noise to get something like this. Yaw vibrations. I feel like yaw vibrations is actually a good answer. A good a good answer. Um, because excess P gain with uh, excess yaw P gain and, and excess yaw D gain, although most people don't run their D gain on yaw very high, 
Uh, and by the way, same answer here. Yaw P is way too high. Same answer here. Yaw P is too high. And, oh, oh, someone did guess bad gyro. I missed that. John Leaper, you get credit, I think. And I apologize if I missed anybody else. I missed you, so I might have missed someone else. John Leaper, you get the gold star for, for naming it bad gyro. That is, that, that is the correct answer. Um, P gain set high on yaw, I think, is a better answer than it might seem at first. Because yaw, P gain, the yaw axis lacks authority on these copters. It's very seldom to actually see oscillations on yaw because no matter how much the yaw p term is is swinging around, the yaw p term is oscillating like p gain does, but it doesn't set up oscillation physical oscillations in the copter. But it can increase the overall noise level of co the copter to the point where excess yaw p gain can cause noise things that look like excess noise. And so yaw p gain is actually a fair answer, I think, for this one. Um, Loose wire. Well, you know, you, you can never rule that out. Um, uh, the wire sort of making contact and not making contact, making contact and not making contact. That's a fair guess. Uh, sync issues. Again, hard to rule that out, but to me, this does not look like a canonical example of sync. Um, usually with sync, what I've seen is that the copter will either dip an arm and recover, or the motor will just completely lose sync and the copter will spin into the ground. Now, I couldn't tell you that this wasn't sync because sync is kind of a random thing and anything can happen. But sync was not the first thing I thought of when I see this this rapid twitching. Uh, so, P gain's too high. Now, this is not a generic case of P gain too high. P gain's too high cause a very, very characteristic case of os type of oscillation. If you don't know what that looks like, then raise your P gains. Just start bumping them up and start flying and you will experience what that looks like. Okay. Loose prop. Again, similar to desync. Hard to rule that out, but if the, it could be like a, I guess maybe like a, a subtly slipping prop. Hard to rule that out, but, but yeah. Um, I think usually when there's a loose prop, it tends to let go. It's either stuck or it lets go and it doesn't recover. Once the prop starts slipping, the, the slipping, the sliding friction, the coefficient of friction for an object sliding against another object is lower than the coefficient of friction for an object that is that is not sliding but is standing still. In other words, it's harder to get something moving than it is to keep it moving. So once the prop starts slipping, it often keeps slipping, although if the motor slows down, maybe it would recover. You can't rule that out. So I would put loose prop under, couldn't rule it out, easy to check and, and rule out. Battery fell off the side when banked over. That's fair. Um, it would have to really be flopping around. Anyway, uh, there you go. Those are the possibly suggested answers. Yeah, uh, too extreme to be bad ESC timing. I kind of agree. That crazy, sort of violent, like a dog shake in the copter. Why is, what is it with dogs around here? Always dogs, right? That, that kind of crazy, violent shaking is uh is is kind of characteristic of gyro failure i'll let you have one more look at wanties and then yeah see it's kind of random and really violent that's not that's not a desync and that's not a tuning thing that's a it's flipping out it was attacked by quadcopter dog there you go that's the actual answer okay guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was informative uh and educational and as always happy flying